Well, I'm on the face of Mars. I, uh, have a bit of a frog in my throat. I may cough a few times. I got creeping crud. Uh, New York, New York Times is engaging in something called yellow journalism. A lot of people are familiar with this. A lot of people probably aren't. We'll get to the New York Times article in a minute. We're going to take a look at this from uh, history. Yellow journalism was made fam famous by uh, William Randolph Hearst and Joseph Pulitzer, who drummed up hatred and anger towards uh, the country of Spain. They drummed up public, public hatred by means of their newspapers when the, the main exploded in Havana Harbor. And when that happened, they drummed up all this hatred and it caused a war. Now, the history, history is recorded basically that the main went down to a spontaneous combustion coal fire. Uh, coal's not a good thing to have on board, uh, have on board ship as a fuel because it tends to just catch fire and it set off an ammunition magazine. Alright, back to the New York Times. New York Times is doing the same identical thing that the Hearst newspapers did back then. Time for Congress to investigate Mr. Trump's ties to Russia. In history where there's this is where Congress steps in. During the Vietnam War, Watergate and Iran Contra scandal when the president's actions or policies crossed the line, Congress investigated and held the White House to account, time has come to do so again. In the last week alone, Americans have witnessed the firing of Trump's national security advisor, Michael Flynn, and learned with shock and incredulity the members of Trump's campaign as inner circle were in repeated contact with Russian intelligence officials. Of course we're going to talk to the Russians. So what? I'd rather talk with them and shoot at them. Coming on top, on top of credible information from America's intelligence communities that Russia tried to destabilize and influence the 2016 presidential campaign, these latest revelations are more than sufficient reason for the Congress to investigate what Moscow has been up to and whether people at the highest levels of the United States government have aided and abetted the interests of the nation that has tried to thwart American foreign policy since the Cold War. Given that context, one might expect Mr. Trump to be clamoring for details that would eliminate any suspicion that his administration is in league with an enemy. Instead, he has waged an unhinged attack on the intelligence agencies themselves, praising Vladimir Putin at every turn and pointing fingers everywhere but at himself while refusing to take a single step to resolve questions about his administration's ties to Russia. This is pure yellow journalism. Excuse me, dimwits, I did not vote for Donald Trump because of anything the Russians said. I never, ever would have voted for hologram Hillary, no matter what, because I know what she is. And you people can't cover it up. And you people do not have the right to sit there and tell me that I voted for Donald Trump because the Russians wanted it. I'm sorry, you don't have the right to say that. That is slander. All right, I better not yell myself hoarse. Hence an urgent need for high-level congressional intervention. 
The ideal vehicle will be an investigative committee of senior senators meaning a witch hunt from both parties as well as members of the House. Some Senate Republicans are already beginning to step, step up. Senator Richard Burr, chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, has already said his committee will investigate the election hacking. Chuckles Grassley, chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, and Diane Feinstein. That sounds familiar. They're asking for a briefing and transcripts of Mr. Flynn's calls to the Russian ambassador. Well, I understand the worst they have him have on um, is ethics. You have to expect uh, the president can sit there and talk to the Russians if he wants to. Screw you people. Sanders, John McCainiac, Lindsey Graham, and the scene, Pat Roberts, favor a broader investigation. Naturally. Uh, John Corwin, Senate Ma Majority Whip, has also raised the possibility of an investigation by Senate committees with jurisdiction over the Intelligence Committee. The Democrats would obviously be on board. Chuckles Schumer. It's also called for the Senate Intelligence Committee to lead by partisan inquiry. And this goes on and on. This is yellow journalism. But here's the danger. They're blaming the Russians for something that there's no, absolutely no evidence for. It was like the explosion of the main in Havana Harbor. There was no evidence at all that Spain did anything. Yet, because of journal so-called journalism like this, the main blew up. Uh, after the main blew up, so-called journalists like these ones at the New York Times caused a war, or they contributed to a war. I don't know historically how much influence, whether they caused it outright or whether they contributed, but it doesn't really matter. They did it to inflame, William Randolph Hearst did it to inflame public opinion and cause a war. These scumbags are doing it to try to overturn an election, which will cause a civil war because we're not going to put up with it. We're already in a technical state of civil war. Obama has his shadow government uh, sitting there. He's taking control of large parts of the government. And he's supposedly less than two miles from the White House. He's supposed to be butting out of business and letting Trump, Trump govern, but that was never in the plan. This is yellow journalism at its worst. These scumbags could cause a war, and they don't care. They're crazy. The editorial board of New York Times is crazier than a loon. They're crazier than loons. I did not vote for Trump because of anything the Russians said. I never, ever would have voted for hologram Hillary. And I'm sure there's many others out there say the same thing. They would have never ever voted for Hologram Hillary. This is big time uh, journalistic malpractice. There's no evidence at all that uh, uh, Donald Trump has any ties to Russia. And he can deal with the Russians if he wants to. He's president, he has the authority. This is a key thing. He has the authority to deal with them, to sign a treaty to be ratified uh, by the Senate. And he has the right to do that. He's president now. He doesn't 
these people don't have the right to tell me can't. They're crazier than moons. And they're in league, of, you know, they're in league with Obama. There's no question of that. Obama is uh, OFA organizing for America Army. I already have 30,000. Well, at any rate, I'm going along on this one. Big time yellow journalism from New York Times. These, uh, you can't ignore these scumbags. You have to go after them and basically show their yellow journalism for what it is. This is completely wrong. It's all inappropriate. I'm tired of it. Don't buy this newspaper. Don't buy this piece of trash. I'm I'm sorry. I've had it. Do not buy New York Times. I'm Mark Thanks for watching.